Vegan carbonara has really never been close to the real thing. There's a lot of really great recipes, but unfortunately, you just cannot get close to a recipe that's made using pretty much just eggs and cheese and meat as the, as the entirety of a recipe until now. And that's because of the recent developments in plant-based foods and plant-based ingredients that make making traditional recipes using vegan ingredients a little bit more accessible and a heck of a lot easier. So today I wanted to try one of those traditional recipes, a carbonara. I'm gonna be using my buddy Steve from Not Another Cooking Show. He's one of my good friends. He makes some incredible recipes. If you're into that, make sure you go over and check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm gonna make his carbonara recipe, but I'm actually gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna make a fresh, pasta, but by using an egg replacement, a vegan egg. We're gonna be using just egg for this entire recipe. So let's see if we can make a fresh pasta, making a fresh carbonara using all vegan products. Let's get this going. I'm pretty sure this is gonna rock. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make a fresh pasta. We're gonna make a fresh spaghetti noodle. It's very easy to make. You just need some flour, some egg. We're gonna be using just egg and a fork. Now the cool thing about the flour recipe is you're just gonna kind of dump out a little hill of flour. Uh, you just wanna have like kind of like a volcano size of flour, probably a few cups, I'm gonna say. Uh, the recipe is only gonna work with the amount that's needed and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm also just gonna add just a pinch of salt and then we're gonna add about five tablespoons of just egg. Uh, each egg, large egg, is about two and a half tablespoons of liquid. And then all we're gonna do is just using our fork, slowly mix into the flour, pulling a little flour off the side. This is gonna take just a minute or two. It doesn't take that long and slowly mixing it in, eventually you'll start to form a dough ball. I did a little bit of research before I tried this out, uh, and it seems a lot of people believe that you can't make a pasta using just egg. I'm gonna tell you, you're wrong. You totally can, and it's good. And eventually what we're gonna be able to do is just grab some of this flour off the side here and start kneading it in and it's kind of ready to go once it doesn't stick to your hands any longer, like once it's not sticky. And then we're just gonna start kneading this until it's a nice smooth dough ball. It's not gonna be sticky, shouldn't be wet. It should feel like the palm of your hand or like an earlobe almost. Then we're gonna knead this for about 10 or 15 minutes just like we would a regular egg pasta. So at this point we have a little dough ball. This is gonna be enough for a few portions of pasta. I'm gonna wrap this up pretty tightly using some plastic wrap. Uh, I know some people are really against plastic wrap. I think this scenario is like one of them where it needs to be fairly tight and um, let me know what you would use in this scenario instead of plastic wrap, I'd be really interested. So all we're gonna do here is just make sure that it is airtight, give it a good twist, and we're gonna allow this to rest for about 30 minutes before we move on to the next step. I'm gonna make another thing of pasta because I have so much flour here. Uh, so let me get that moving real quick and then we're gonna do our next step here. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour. Our dough balls are ready to go. We're ready to turn them into some pasta. But first, the first thing we're gonna do is get the rest of the carbonara recipe prepped and ready to go because once we cook this pasta, we're gonna be moving. So <laughs> not another cooking show. Steve's recipe calls for about three quarters cup of cheese. Now he uses a pecorino and some Parmesan. I'm just gonna be doing some Daya mozzarella shreds, about three quarters of a cup. Then we need about four egg yolks, which is gonna come out to about 72 grams of just egg. I'd say that's probably about a half of a cup is what I'm thinking, about half of a cup of just egg. So we have our egg mixture ready to go. I'm gonna set this back. So I still have some bacon left over from my mochi bacon recipe. I thought this might be a good bacon to use in this. I think it's just salty enough. I think it has just enough of that bacon-like flavor. I think this is gonna work perfect. And also because in the recipe that Steve did, he cubed up the pork. So I wanna be able to do the same thing. I, you could buy just about any vegan bacon. I think that's gonna work perfectly fine for this. So I'm gonna cook the little bacon cubes real quick with just a touch of oil. We're just trying to flavor up that oil with this bacon flavoring. Um, now naturally, if you were to cook this with real pork, the pork's gonna make its own fat. You're gonna render its own fat. That's what you would use. Here we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do our own to kind of get that flavoring profile that we want. Okay, these fried bacon pieces look insane. Mm. 
And on top of it, we have all that oil that we needed. So we have our cheese mixture, we have our bacon, the pork mixture for this recipe. Let's get the noodles going. So over here, I'm just gonna dust my work surface just a little bit, and we're gonna flatten out this dough ball. Probably gonna do it in two pieces, I'm thinking. We're gonna set our pasta roller to the largest size and just start rolling, and we should end up with a nice flat, which we did, piece. And it feels really good. It feels like a piece of pasta. I think we've nailed it. I'm gonna run it through a second time on its largest setting, and then work our way down to the second setting. Gotta cover up this other piece so it doesn't dry out. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link for everything in the description below that I used for Amazon, and it's gonna be an affiliate link, so if you click those links, I make a little bit of money. But if you want one of those pasta makers, you can get that. If not, roll the dough flat, cut it with a knife. It's not that hard to make noodles. You can roll the dough flat, flour it, roll it up, and then just slice it really thin, then pull it out and you got a noodle. It's so easy. And then the last one, which for me, for this one, we're gonna do a number three. This looks really good. It's a nice thickness. It's exactly what I want. Perfect. I'm just gonna drop some flour on this guy, on both sides. I'm gonna cover this up and let's get started on this next one here. Move all the way back and we're gonna start over from the beginning. I'll tell you, back in the day, I used to make fresh pasta all the time and this pasta here made with just egg feels just as good as any fresh pasta I would have made in the past. I mean, it just looks phenomenal. We've got our water boiling, so we're ready to roll. Let's cut ourselves some pasta, some spaghetti here. I'm really excited. I think this is gonna be pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, look at it, it's perfect. That is spaghetti. Look at that. This is gonna be perfect, perfect. Let's boil it, make our carbonara. Since this is a fresh pasta, it's gonna cook just like a fresh pasta. It only takes about a minute or so. Once the noodles are done, we're gonna pull the noodles out, put our glass container with the just egg and the cheese over top of the boiling water, kind of like a double boiler, and start whisking to kind of make like a sauce. Once we've got what's looking like a sauce going, pour a little bit of the fat in from the bacon, then whisk that in to kind of emulsify together to kind of thicken it up. Now let's add the pasta, start mixing those together really nice and well, and then add a bit, maybe a few tablespoons of the pasta water to kind of pull it all together, add some black pepper, and then, oh my God. And then just like in the style of my buddy Steve, I'm gonna put this guy onto a cutting board. I'm gonna give it some black pepper. And look at that. That's a carbonara. We got a bunch if you really like it. Carbonara. Have you ever had carbonara? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. This is awesome. It's really good, right? Yeah, this is awesome. So I think all in all, this recipe worked. We were able to veganize it pretty much. Mm. Really good. 100%. This tastes just like carbonara. Um, yeah, thanks. I can't wait to see what you guys want me to make next in this series. Leave that comment down below.